Hello, everyone. So we have a couple of things to talk about today when it comes to Bitcoin as a whole and how different projects or a project in particular that I'm interested in that I've been following for a good while addresses the issues that are coming up. So let's talk about quantum computing. Vitalik warned about quantum risks and Algorand, which is a project that you are all familiar with, a project which I've personally covered on the channel multiple times, is quantum ready. What that means, what are the risks for Bitcoin and other assets as well, and what are the risks for layer one solutions and layer twos as well, that are not moving in the direction of being quantum proof and how Algorand exactly addresses those issues. So let's have a look at a few things. Uh, Vitalik warned there's a 20% chance we get crypto breaking quantum machines before 2030. So that is, you know, less than five years away from now. We are at the end of 2025. So in less than four years, we could face ourselves with the possibility of quantum computing coming in and breaking cryptographic um, encryption. And that means classical signatures like RSA and elliptic curve used by most blockchains could be cracked, letting attackers forge transactions or steal funds. So let's quickly run through what our grant just did to prevent those risks. And um, these are basically couple of reasons why I'm following the project very closely. As you know, by following me on X, I've been covering many things about Algorand and uh, you know that well. I've been talking about these guys for a good while um, and this is one of the reasons why I'm particularly bullish. So Algorand executed the first ever post-quantum transactions on a live public blockchain using NIST approved Falcon signatures. So while others are still planning a security, Algorand already has three things which are very important. So the first, working code on mainnet. It allows uh, Algorand to just jump into the quantum proof solutions very quickly, very effectively. Falcon based quantum resistant signatures is already in Algorand. Uh, developer tools to start experimenting right now so all the people who are involved in building on Algorand are able to test those tools and be quantum ready before it happens. It is crucial. It is crucial for projects to make moves right now, just like Algorand is doing, because once the security threat is here, it's already too late. So developer tools are there in place for people who are building. This proves security on Algorand isn't just a theory. It's actually live right now. So uh, considering the fact that these potential threats are around four years from now, Algorand is ready. Why this matters? So uh, a subject that talks about the reasons why quantum is a threat to many blockchains and Bitcoin itself. So what could quantum attacks really do for different assets? So we have fake transactions. Blockchain is based on the proof that the transactions actually took place. So being able to break that code and being able to fake transactions, is it basically breaks the whole idea of a blockchain. So the whole idea behind this tech is broken if you're not quantum ready. Break validator signatures, rewrite blockchain history. So the history is another pillar which is key for blockchains to work, for blockchains to operate, and for blockchains to have actual need in the world. So the reason why uh, different companies use blockchain services is so that they, they can store transactions in an unbreakable ledger. Unbreakable until quantum comes in. These guys, most of the guys are not ready. Whereas Algorand already making moves to make this a reality. So being quantum safe. Algorand is years ahead because its state proofs already use Falcon 1024, and it now supports full quantum resistant transactions. This is a huge matter, and I don't think this is discussed enough in the space. To be honest, the whole space over the past few months and years has been a bit all over the place. The access to, you know, being able to create any project very easily gave us a lot of saturation, 
and gave us projects which are not necessarily thinking about the future. So in my opinion, I think we are moving towards the time where actual builders, actual people who are thinking about risks when it comes to quantum, when it comes to different things as well, in advance. These are the projects which will win. These are the real utility builders and uh, Algorand has proven itself to be one of those projects over the past years. Uh, they've continuously built, built solutions, built things like quantum resistance and also other things which I'm always talking about on my X account and YouTube as well. So if you want to stay in the loop and uh, continue looking at what Algorand is building, but also my personal thoughts on crypto space, Web3 space and anything crypto related, I do recommend you guys give me a follow. Subscribe if you are watching this video on YouTube. It's going to go both on YouTube and X. So I do welcome you guys to support the channel and learn about the things that are actually important in the space because hype and, you know, trading, leverage trading, all these things, they come and go. They have their own place. Yes, they do in the ecosystem. Speculation is a huge part of this ecosystem and it's not going to go away. I think as long as people are here, people tend to be greedy. So those things will stay with us. Hype will stay with us, but it has different seasons. Uh, whereas I think right now we are at the beginning of a season where actual utility and actual thinking about the future and what that holds for all of us when it comes to transactions is very important. At the end of the day, blockchain was created to remove middlemen from yourself and your assets. So Algorand lets you do that. Thank you for watching. This was a quick update on Algorand, why Algorand matters in 2025, 2026 and beyond. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.